right now on the phone. I told you she'd be calling in, and she is. I wasn't lying. Natalie Martinez on the phone. Good morning, Natalie. How are you? Good morning. Uh, it's exciting to talk to you. You've got a good movie out, End of Watch. This is mm-hmm. a, it's a good cast and uh, seems like a really, really exciting movie. It's any th- movie with cops and Jake Gyllenhaal, I'm on board. So for, good, other, good. for other people that aren't on board yet, tell people a little bit about the film and then t- tell people about uh, Gabby, your character. Well, End of Watch is, uh, is written by David Ayer, who did Train Day, another great cop film. He wrote and directed <laughs> End of Watch, and you know it's it's a film about police officers and, and their brotherhood and what they do on a day-to-day basis and their relationships with themselves and with their families. That's cool. So it's like a different a different side that you see in police officers that we don't normally ever get to see because they're good-hearted, good inten- like good intentions, and and normally I think we're used to seeing these cops who who kind of go a little bit farther than the badge and, and above the law. And and these guys are just really, really good men and, and what they go through, and you're really invested because you get to see them in their personal life. You get to see that sense of reality in this film. Yeah, what I mean, what is that? What does he do to be able to write so well and so real? Because, I mean, Training Day is one of my favorite cop movies mm-hmm. ever, and I love cop movies. I mean, Training Day is just like a classic to me, but I mean, he just has a way of really capturing the, the reality behind the police force. Well, you know what? This is, this is, his, this is his niche. This is what he does. You know, he's, uh, he's actually friends with a lot of police officers. He grew up in those streets, so he knows what it's like. Um, his, his wife is Mexican as well, too, so he, you know, has that, he has that whole culture down as well. You know, and um, I believe that he just writes so so true to form because he's been a part of that all his life. And a lot of these stories in this movie come from real-life true stories from police officers in South Central. That, that's cool. Is there anything that you had to do to prepare for the role? I mean, did you go speak to, like, wives of real police officers, or was it kind of all just in the script for you? No, I mean, well, both. You know, uh, he does pretty much put everything in it, but he's also, you know, very big on being honest to your character and knowing who your character is. You know, I'm Cuban-American, and, and he had me meet some Mexican-American women um, and kind of go to, like, a baby shower or go to 15s or something in that culture um, to kind of see what it's like and meet them. And, and also it was very important for Michael Pena and I to spend a lot of time together so that we could create that bond because we had such little screen time to kind of show it. Mm-hmm. That we really had to know each other, what we wanted to do, and how we wanted to be, so that we can impact, you know, Jake Gyllenhaal's character with Anna Kendrick. Very nice. Somebody on our text line just asked about that. They said, uh, "I'm interested in this movie. How naked does Jake Gyllenhaal get?" <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I mean, there. It's it's really interesting to see Jake in this because he really did go through a transformation. I mean, they worked out, they fought, and. And they, they got really fit for four to five months, both Michael Pena and Jake Gyllenhaal. So um, go see it, and then you'll see how much he shows. There you go. Exactly. Good. But mm-hmm. he is. You, you're saying he's in, in really good Gyllenhaal shape for this one. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, Dave Ayer had them for four to five months uh, sparring and boxing every day, as well as doing, like, all these ride-alongs and special ops trainings and meeting with the police officers and stuff. So... I mean, he looked like a, you know, he was a fit cop. He was athletic. There you go. Very, very cool. In a buzz cut, you know, it's a different side of Jake. That's cool. What what does he like to work with? Is he uh, just a cool guy? He's he's great. I mean, Jake, you know, he's a very welcoming actor. He he kind of brings the best out on everybody on set. He makes everybody feel really comfortable and, and welcomed, and it was just great. And, I mean, Michael Peña and I are the ones that had our scenes mostly together, and I mean, playing his wife has just been so awesome because I think he's such a great and amazing actor. And I think uh, Michael Pena really shines through this movie. That's cool. It's good. He is a great actor, and he, one of those guys that kind of you know flies under the radar a lot of the times doesn't get the credit I think he deserves because he's, I mean, he's solid. And that's, I mean, to be yeah, able to yeah. be that solid for that long of a career is something to be said in this day and age. What else is uh, going on in life for you, Natalie? Anything exciting or cool aside from uh, promoting End of Watch? Yeah, yeah. I'm doing uh, CSI New York right now, which has been a lot of fun. Um, I get to play the other side instead of playing the cop's wife. I'm the actual detective this time. Um, And then I got Broken City coming out in January. Yeah, and that's huge. I mean, that's Mark Wahlberg, Kyle Chandler, Russell Crowe, Catherine Zeta-Jones. So uh, yeah, that's that's going to be an exciting one. Yeah, and what's that? What's that movie about? Uh, That movie is about you know um, Mark Wahlberg and just kind of torn between his you know moral choices in life. 
to do the good thing or the bad thing or and kind of what happens to him um if he takes these choices very cool so it's like and a thriller it's like a thriller noir kind of film oh right on. is mark producing i'm guessing since that's he produces everything these days yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, that's what I, I heard an interview with him, and it's like he is just so involved in every aspect of it now, and making so much money because it's like he's got his hands in everything that he's working on, like every aspect of it. So it's so cool, and now he's got like his own supplements out, and like the dude's a smart, not just a good actor, but a really savvy businessman. Yeah, you know, I mean, that shows you someone who's actually learned something from the business. You know, he's grown with his uh, with his fame and and with his name. You know, definitely. So I think that's. Something to look up to. What do you play in uh, in Broken City? What's your character? Um, I play Mike Wahlberg's na- uh, girlfriend of nine years. So mm-hmm. he's kind of torn between uh, what he has to do for work and, and our relationship and how it's taking is driving us apart. That's cool. Is it hard for you to date? And are you, I mean I I don't know. Are you married or anything? Or are you single? I'm single. Okay. Is it hard for you to date with people? Like, I mean, have a boyfriend that you're like, oh, yeah, I do some acting and stuff, and then tell him, like, oh, I've got to go be Michael Pena's wife, you know, for a few months. And then, like, oh, I'm going to be Mark Wahlberg's girlfriend. Yeah, like I'm making out with every hot lead. And- exactly. Well, that I mean, that's got to seem like it's probably a hard thing for a guy to be like, oh, yeah, Mark Wahlberg, like he's the ladies' man. And then to know that you're going to go and make out with him and be close and intimate with him for a few months that's going to be probably hard for somebody to deal with if they're not in the business you- yeah you know i feel like it's it is a little bit odd even if you are in the business it depends on the person you know on the person um but you're coming into this with me being an actress already so you got to kind of kind of take it um this is what i do yeah but at the same time it's work you know when we're out there we're making out with these characters and stuff like what i just said we're making out with the character i'm not making out with the person you're not thinking about the sex scene because what you don't know and what you guys don't see is that this footage of the sex scene, I mean, you have people screaming, like, touch their hair, pull the shirt down, mm-hmm. put your arm, like, someone's, you know, and you're thinking about where your hand is, if you're blocking their light, uh, which angle, uh, what do you, you know, like, a lot of times you're, you're thinking about the technical stuff rather than what's really going on at the moment. Yeah, and you shoot so it six or seven times, and yeah. Yeah, and then normally everybody knows how uncomfortable the scenes are, so we kind of get it, you know, you get it, you, you let it run for like a good couple minutes and, you know, a couple times, but it's uh, it's just work. Yeah. This is what you do. There you go. That's That's got to be a cool line of work, though. Is this something you've, were you one of those girls that grew up just saying, I want to be an actress, or did you kind of just mm-hmm. stumble into the biz? I just stumbled in, and I didn't think I was ever going to do this. I just stumbled into it. I've only been doing it for six years. That's got to be a cool stumble right there to just not know what you're going to do. Well, you like, know oh. what? It's, I'm just happy to still be stumbling. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm just happy to still keep going and working one thing led to another and I just haven't stopped. That's awesome. What is your dream now? I mean, now that you're in the business, what is it? Do you have like a dream role or a dream project or like a trajectory that you would like your career to take in the future? You know what? I mean, I haven't done much comedy and it's been a lot of drama, so that'd be kind of a lot of fun. Um, a lot of fun to do. Also, like a time piece would kind of be a lot of fun. But I'm a really big action girl, and, and I've gotten a lot of that, which is great. Um, but I just, you know, my goal in life right now is just to kind of keep moving forward. And wherever life takes me and whatever opportunities come my way to, to be sure that I can see them. There you go. It, well, it sounds like awesome stuff coming your way. Broken City, obviously, down the road. We'll check that one out. But End of Watch is in theaters. It's Jake Gyllenhaal. It's Michael Pena. It's Natalie, uh, Anna Kendrick, America Ferreira. Great cast, great film. If you like Training Day, you got to check out End of Watch. So we'll go see you in that playing Michael Pena's wife, End of Watch. Check it out in theaters now. Natalie Martinez, thanks so much for joining us, Natalie. And uh, hopefully we'll talk to you again in the future. Thank you. Right, bye-bye. Bye. The Big J Show. Weekday mornings from 6 till 10. On Billings number one hit music station. Hot 101.9.